This is my friend Tim. And let's just say he sucks at handstands. So I'm gonna make it my life's mission for the next 24 hours to teach this guy how to do one. And if I can't get him to hold a handstand for at least five seconds in the next 24 hours, then we have to do the worst punishment known to mankind, which is getting slapped by a professional slapper. So the time is currently 4 p.m., which means I have until 4 p.m. tomorrow to teach him how to hold a handstand for at least five seconds. So it's currently 4, 10 p.m., and we're gonna see how long he can hold it before this challenge even starts. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so that was pretty awful, as you can tell. So let's fix that. All right, so to start, we're just gonna have him do some simple kickups. So what you're gonna wanna do is simply left foot in front, hands ahead of you, and just kick up. We're just gonna practice that. Oh. All right, that's a start, that's a start. All right, so now that he's got the basics of the kickups, we're gonna have him kick a little bit higher this time. All right, one more. All right, so it's currently 5 p.m. He's been practicing kickups for the past hour. Now we're gonna have him work on some kickups to a tree. All right, so it turns out a tree isn't the most optimal place to do handstands, so we move to a wall. Like straight, fall, fall, good, 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 hold it. Now fall forward, good, good, hold it, hold it. Oh! Alright, so after practicing the handstand on a wall for a little bit, we're now gonna move on to falling. Most people's fears when doing a handstand is falling. <laughs> we're gonna teach you how to get over that. So when you're practicing to fall, you do not want to do this. Or this. Instead, what you're gonna want to do is go on a handstand and then turn. That avoids falling on your face or on your back. If you feel like you're falling any other way, just turn and land on your feet. All right, so now we're gonna have this kid try it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, on your feet, good. Oh, that's great. All right, that's a wrap for falling. I think he's got it down. All right, so right now it's currently 7.08 and we got a lot done today. So I think we're gonna wrap it up by seeing how long he can hold it for today and see if he can beat that tomorrow. Three, two, one, go. Oh, nice fall, nice hold. We're getting a little bit better. Okay, so that's it for today. And tomorrow we're gonna be learning techniques and how to actually master the handstand. Okay, so the time is currently 11.33 a.m. and this kid overslept a little bit, but I still have confidence that we can get the five second handstand. So today we're gonna be learning the most important thing to learn a handstand, which is technique. Okay, so there's a couple things you need to know for technique. Dude, get the f off your phone. So when you're doing the handstand, you do not wanna have your hands flat like this. You want to have them gripping the ground. Pretend like you're squeezing as hard as you can so you can have better balance and better grip on the ground. All right, so after that gripping technique I just taught you, there's another one you have to learn. And that's squeezing every single part of your body. So you're going to want to squeeze your butt, squeeze your core, and keep your arms straight above your head to practice this. All right, so squeeze your butt, squeeze your abs, and then arms straight up and squeeze everything. All right, so the time is currently 12.38 p.m. And after practicing those techniques for about an hour, we decided he's gonna try them in a handstand with me spotting him. All right, so everything I taught you, just do it and I'll catch you. All right, legs straight. Hold. Good. Three, two, one, go. Oh. All right, all right, hold it. Now put your shoulders in. Nice, nice. So the reason he can't hold as long is because he's doing this with his shoulders. We need him to push up and put his shoulders right by his ears. Oh! All right, shoulders up, tight, squeeze everything, legs together, good. After a quick trip to Chipotle and a quick nap, we only have one more thing to do before he can try the five second handstand. And that's learning how to use your core. If you can properly learn how to use your core in a handstand, then it's almost 100% guarantee you can hold it. So we decided to do some core work. And some more technique. So after a long day of practicing off camera and a lot of breaks, 
The current time is 3.43 p.m. Which means there's only 18 minutes for him to hold a five second handstand. So right now he's gonna start making his attempts. So I'm gonna be giving him three attempts to do the handstand. Let's see attempt number one. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, no! So attempt number one was pretty good. Let's see if he can get it on attempt number two. Three, two, one, go. One, two, oh. All right, so he's on his final attempt here. Let's see if he can do it this time. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, oh, what counts it? Oh, oh, oh my God. Wait, he did it. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. All right, we, we're gonna count that, guys. This is crazy. He could barely hold one second. Let's see the footage from yesterday. All right, so this kid does not have to get slapped by professional slapper. He got it with only a couple minutes to spare. How do you feel? All right, I guess he doesn't talk. Well, see you guys next time. Lift my shoe, red bottom on the bottom of her hill. Um, yeah, we take the top.